टेक्स्ट थर्टी वन एम आई राइट एवं चित्त भोजेन्द्र पूरग्राम प्रजादिशु अनिर्दशान निर्देशांश्या मोद्य वय शिशून If this is so, O King of the Bhoja Dynasty, beginning today, we shall kill all the children born in the in all the villages, towns, and pasturing grounds within the past ten days, or slightly more. Text thirty two. कि मुद्यमय करिष्यंति देवा समर भीरव नित्य मुद्युगमसो ज्या घोषेधनुस्तव द डेनी गॉड्स ऑलवेज फियर द साउंड ऑफ योर बोज स्ट्रिंग दे आर कॉन्स्टेंटली इन एंजाइटी अफ्रेड ऑफ फाइटिंग दे फोर what can they do by their endeavors to harm you there is a quality of asura over here now you can see that the how much cruelty they have so if we compare this time to our this present time of kaliyuga very less this type of things are happening some sometimes somebody say this kali yuga is very 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 difficult but i think the what kamsa did in his time was not less than anything and his advisor and everybody i think the shlokas and all the things are being expressed over here defined over here to just teach us to understand the nature of the asuras and which extent they can go they can cross the limit actually now the other thing is that the demigods always fear the sound of your bow string one of his friend one of his kamsa uh, com companion is saying when you just make the sound the bow string devtas the demigods are shaking they always consider afraid of fighting of course suras are afraid of fighting not afraid of fighting they don't want to go unnecessarily anything this is the basic different their mind is not like that cruel or the fighting envious and with hate so it is also one of the thing that's the qualities we can see differentiate to see the clearly that what is the difference between asuras and suras the same thing vaishnavas and non vaishnavas when vaishnava also never go in argument the good nature of vaishnava is they are without any hate the good nature of vaishnava is they they, they don't have envious nature they have no dirt inside for other people but even though these all things are matters practice even after becoming vaishnava your sign board is good that you are vaishnava it's a, okay it's a identity that you become of radharani and krishna but after becoming radha rani and krishna how much you have accepted this with full of your heart esha baba saying day before yesterday then in 24 hours if we calculate ourselves then automatically the many answers are, we got without any asking anyone thinking that in 24 hours what we did if we see all this properly then we no need to go anyone no need to ask anyone anything things are automatically very clear to us 
the same thing is over here that definitely asuras and vaishnavas are afraid of fighting so they were thinking that what they asura asuras demigods can harm you text 33 asya taste sarvratir hanyamana samantatah jiji vishav utsrijya palayan parayayu while being pierced by your arrows which you discharged on all sides some of them who were injured by the multitude of arrows but who desired to leave fled the battlefield intent on escaping so now they saying that what happened with asuras that when you started fighting with them some got hurt and when you started attacking from all side many of the devi gods they became injured and they want to be alive they don't want to die that they escape from the battlefield means here the company of kamsas are showing the timidness means how fearful they are are how coward asuras are actually suras are not covered vaishnavas are not covered they follow their master actually supreme personality of godhead so this our all attire like putting tilak putting kanthi keeping shikha putting this uh, sacred thread and for trying to follow the different etiquette as a vaishnava it doesn't mean that they are covered they don't want to go unnecessarily anything actually this is the main thing one moment disturbance is there some battery wala came i have to go some seconds sorry ha niti didi ka udhav niti didi ko are ye bahar swarud bhai andar ja ke sire aap pe sorry if i am here it will happen this <laughs> but naturally now text 34 kechit pranjaliyo dina nest sastra divoksa mukt kach shikha kechit bhita sma iti vadina defeated and bereft of all weapons some of the demigods gave up fighting and praised you with folded hands one of one of the one of the associates of kamsa is telling to kamsa encouraging his endeavors and some of them appearing before you with loosened garments and hair and said oh lord we are very much afraid of you they took they all took your shelter because they were very fearful to you the associates of kamsas are saying and give motivating him like this and he should not be fearful that the eighth child of uh, devaki and vasudev all already appeared to kill him text 35 न तो विस्मृत शस्त्रास्त्रान वीरथान भय संभृतान अंश न्याय सख्त विमुखान भग्न चापान युद्धत वेन द डेमी गोड्स आर बिरेफ्ट ऑफ देअर चैरियट्स वेन दे फॉरगेट हाउ टू यूज वीपन वेन दे आर फियरफुल और अटैच टू समथिंग other than fighting or when their bows are broken and they have thus lost the ability to fight your majesty does not kill them purport 
there are principles that govern even fighting. If an enemy has no chariot, here some of the rules while in the battlefield are with this verse is I as much I can understand they will tell about that what is the rules. Even in fighting with two people be, between two people, there are some uh, rules are there, governed even principles are there. If an enemy has no chariot, is unmindful of the fighting odd because of fear. Or is unwilling to fight, is not to be killed. Means li let it let him go alive. If someone lost his chariot while fighting in the battlefield, Kamsa's ministers re reminded Kamsa that despite his power, he was cognizant of the principles of fighting, and therefore he had excused the demigods because of their incapability. But the present emergency, the minister said, is not intended for such mercy or military etiquette. Now you should prepare to fight under any circumstances. Thus they advise Kamsa to give up the traditional etiquette in fighting and chastise the enemy at any cost. So Kamsa was little law-loving person. He was following the principles. At that time, there was something in India in the history of 1973 or 74. Some emergency or something was there in this country. So I think the Prabhupada explained a little bit over there also. So then the situation was like this, that you should prepare to fight under any circumstances. The circumstances were like this, that you have to fight. This become like this. Text 36. Alpaviryan Brahmana Vata Pasyata. The demigods boast uselessly while away from the battlefield. Only where there is no fighting can they show their prowess. Therefore, from such demigods, we have nothing to fear. The associates of Kamsa is telling to Kamsa. That why you are fearful for them? They, they don't have any courage to fight. As for Lord Vishnu, he is in seclusion in the core of the hearts of the yogis. As for Lord Shiva, he has gone to the forest. And as for Lord Brahma, he is always engaged in austerities and meditation. The other demigods, headed by Indra, are devoid of prowess. Therefore, you have nothing to fear. And this Vishnu is always residing in the heart of yogis. And Shiva is always sitting in jungle doing tapasya, closing his eyes. Brahma also is busy in austerities and meditation, closing his eyes and meditate. And the other demigods who, who are there with Indra, they are not that much courageous, not that much power they have. So that's why O King Kamsa, you know, need to be fearful. Forward. Kamsa's ministers told Kamsa that all the exalted demigods had fled in fear of him. 
one god uh, one had gone to the forest one to the core of the heart and one to engage in tapasya thus you can be free from all fear of the demigods they said just prepare to fight text 37 tathabe deva sapatanyan anno pekshayati manmahe tatastan mool khanane niyongsha vasman nu vrtan nandales because of their enmity our opinion is that the demigods should not be neglected therefore to uproot them completely engage us in fighting with them or we are ready to follow you. even they were thinking the associates of kamsa that we should not take him lightly who knows that what they can do with the help of vishnu again because vishnu is very very smart he can create anything any moment so we should ready and we start fighting now they are very enthusiastic i mean inside to fight by their nature text 38 yatha mayonge samupekshito nirvir na shaktire na shakyate rud padas chikitsitum yethendriya gram upekshate stata ripur mahan badhavalo na chalyate as a disease if initially neglected becomes acute and impossible to cure it's true or as the senses if not controlled at first controlled at first are impossible to control later an enemy if neglected in the beginning later becomes insurmountable you cannot control your enemy later you cannot try but overcome on it on, on them these are some policies has been described over here these are policies actually if you will ask as my point of view that all this policy has nothing to do with with bhakti again one disturbance is there i some seconds sorry sorry much sorry ha sada ji dekh liya pani wagera theek hai sab kya ho gaya tab to band pad gaya tha pura ladka ladka to ek aaya tha tumhare sahi wala theek theek kal ek ladka aaya tha tumhare saath बाद में ले लेना बाद में दे दू सॉरी दिस इज माई रूम एक्चुअली इन फ्रंट मेनी मेनी सेवा भागवत सेवा एंड इज दैट मेनी भागवताज आर कमिंग एट द डोर ऑल द टाइम साधु आर कमिंग ऑल ऑफ साहिब नीड टू गो sorry miss on if it is about the senses and other things for our development then it is okay we can accept this but this enemy or uh, other things and the we cannot do yeah because sadhaka need to control on senses so it is very important in the beginning beginning it is that's why it is said that at the early time that's why there was a gurukul parampara was there that the children were being sent to learn how to control their senses by the different different practices It's still today there but now we are losing in india also this gurukul parampara is not there so hardly the boys and girls those who are in the city or the in the big big cities they don't know what is uh, brahmacharya in a sanskrit you go delhi kolkata mumbai or the big cities in india when you will ask the boys and girls those who are uh, studying in the convent school or the international school do you know the meaning of brahmacharya 
they will laugh at you that who is this person and what kind of question he is asking and what does it mean they are totally not knowing <laughs> so this is situation right now this developed country called india टेक्स्ट 39 मूलम ही विष्णु देवानाम यत्र धर्म सनातन तस्य च ब्रह्म गो विप्रांस तपो यज्ञास दक्षिणा द फाउंडेशन ऑफ ऑल द डेमीगॉड्स इज लॉर्ड विष्णु हु लिव्स एंड इज वर्शिप्ड वेयर बर देयर आर रिलीजियस प्रिंसिपल्स ट्रेडिशनल कल्चर द वेदास काउस ब्राह्मिन्स yeah this is also one of the problem so the vishnu is the foundation of all demigods and the vishnu is connected with some different different principles religious traditional cultural vedic brahmanical austerical sacrificial here is a description of sanatan dharma eternal religious principles which must include brahmanical culture brahmanas sacrifices and religion because before the brahmins were doing lot of this yagya they were not thinking yagya they were doing for the universal universal welfare not for personally for them and religion these principles established the kingdom of vishnu by the doing this lot a lot then vishnu appeared and he and that many things came but we read here this cultural religious traditional vedas called all gone in a proper channelized way and there was a very nice culture started with some excellent principles the principle established the kingdom of vishnu without the kingdom of vishnu the kingdom of god no one can be happy nate vidu स्वर्थागतिम ही विष्णु इन दिस डेमोनियक सिविलाइजेशन पीपल अनफॉर्चुनेटली डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट द सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन सोसाइटी लाइज इन विष्णु विष्णु मीन्स कृष्णा दुरास्य ये बहिर अर्था मानिना दस दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन ए होपलेस होप पीपल वॉन्ट टू बी हैप्पी विदाउट गॉड कॉन्सियसनेस या दैट इज इम्पॉसिबल बिकॉज वी आर वर्किंग विद हेल्प ऑफ सम सोर्स whatever energy we are getting to do anything whatever there there is a one source it is not like this any bulb is getting on without any help of the elect wire and wire is definitely connected with some kind of plug or switch and in there there is a energy and with the help of this energy the light is on so if we want this light on we have to go through this process that is that is called energy the source of this light is energy so in the absence of energy we cannot expect this light so the krishna radharani they are main energy
or Krishna consciousness because they are led by blind leaders. Blind leader in the sense association. If you are associating this, this type of people, leader means not the political well I am saying. Here it is a reference thus given blind leaders. It's not only pol politically. It also depends where we are going to associate ourselves, where our consciousness is bringing us all the time. Are we more and more under the control of our senses and going the different kind of associate? That is definitely not beneficiary for us. We only mis misguided, misled it by this crazy associates. That's why it is said in Vaishnavism to go to the proper place where the same minded associates are there. It is very important in Vaishnavism. Blind leaders who led human society to Chaos. And Chaos is a very difficult condition. Once entered, very difficult to come out. The Asuric adherents of Kamsa wanted to disrupt the traditional condition of human happiness. Hit on the main source in the society. Traditional condition of human happiness. One place you hit, you attack on it, all system will be disturbed. And then after thus defeat the devatas, demigods. The devotees and demigods, both will finish. Unless the devotees and demigods predominate, the asuras will increase. And human society will be in a chaotic condition. Problem after problem. Text 14. Tasmat Sarvat Manarajan Brahmanan Brahmavadina Tapasvino Yagishilan Gascha Hanmo Havir Dudha O King, we who are your adherents in all respects shall therefore kill the Vedic Brahmanas, the person engaged in offering sacrifices and austerities. And the cows that apply milk, supply milk from which clarified butter is obtained for the ingredients of sacrifice. In yagya, for yagya, cow is very important because we use yogurt made out of cow milk, ghee made out of cow milk. So the, that they wanted to attack on cow and Brahmins. Brahmins are doing they are sacrificer and cow with the help so is the source for the sacrifice, Jagya. So they target is starting thought to target both these two things first. And the same thing happened in India also. The Brahmins, time by time, the invaders in this country they came and they tried to tempt. Poor Brahmins. They were little intellects. But though some of them were poor. And they unfortunately tempted by some people. And misguided by their original way of living and well-being. And to give the wisdom to the society. Many of them misguided. Tempted by different things. Time by time by the invaders from the outside of the boundaries of this country. It happened really in India. Doesn't matter Brahmin or whatever human being. And as per the some, some Brahmins are not so austerious, austerious. So they are quickly tempted by anyone, by the money or by the different kind of source. Or the temptation, land, 
or the house or the different cars or means or the gold it is easy as per the human nature विप्रा गावस्य वेदास्य तपा सत्यम दमाशम श्रद्धा दया तिचा च कृतवश्च हरिस्तनु द ब्राह्मिन्स द काउस वैदिक नॉलेज ऑस्टेरिटी अनट्रूथफुलनेस कंट्रोल ऑफ द माइंड एंड सेंसेस फेथ मर्सी टॉलरेंस एंड द सैक्रिफाइसेस आर द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु इज द अस्तंभ अस्तंभ इज द पिलर to form a particular special kind of a place for human being with a special consciousness i think this is this is called vishnu and how many things brahmin including cows vedic knowledge austerity truthfulness control of the mind first mind then senses so we can understand if the mind is under control senses can be also faith very important if faith is losing then what means heart is not ready emptiness of faith means heart is not ready to accept anything this type of anything mercy basic human nature one of the basic human nature merciful melted heart like butter little problem looking at others they melt oh my god what i can do for him how should i make him happy tolerance doesn't matter fire is jumping on the head or the big stones falling down on the head completely unfavorable situation but tolerance is there tolerate because i am hopeful if the good days were are not there bad days will be also not there and by thinking this tolerate everything if before something was not there this will be also not there and what will come this will be also not there so by thinking this tolerate everything someone abuse you okay radhe radhe very nice you played very nicely with me hello someone giving you slap oh thank you very much you increased my power of tolerance more one more slap and even after one slap you are my brother still i am not angry with you this is tolerance in the sense means you are not going to ask someone to slap you slap means without hitting also some many slaps are there some people just getting with the words slapped slapped by words slapped by someone's nature slapped by someone's activities slapped by someone's very undesirable nature human nature can be slapped by many ways not just by the palm of someone no no emotional people sensitive people they slept by many things that's why the human nature we said that we need to be very careful when we behave with someone our behavior should not give pain to anyone because we don't know what type of different people are there around us we need to understand people first then we can behave accordingly all fingers the fingers all are not same we have to think this we want good but we 
we don't behave good but with our, with self we want oh everyone should behave very nice this cannot work actually principally this cannot work sacrifice all the different parts of the body of lord vishnu and then are the parent failure for a good godly civilization like we are picking in radha mohan seva there are many things chamar is there kshatra is there is all parent failures are not like it is okay something is there that do they need no 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 very much valuables this peacock feather fan this big fan this chamara of this special cow tail hair this uh, handkerchief with the flowers with the aarti with the conchel everything is important it's not like that each and everything has a special kind of energy and this energy we offer it to our thakur ji now for but when we offer our obeisances to the personality of godhead we say namo brahmanaya devaya go brahmana hitaya cha jagat dhitaya krishnaya govindaya namo namaha we krishna comes to establish real perfection in the social order he personally gives protection to the cows and brahmans brahmanas shastra is saying not any ordinary person or i am saying this it is written here go brahmana hitaycha this is his first interest because without protection of the brahmanas and the cows there can be no human civilization and no question of happy peaceful life yagya is stopped by brahmins and the means what brahmin using it coming from the cows or brahmin and cows from the society if these two things are disappear society will means definitely one day will be destroy completely as per the vedic instruction shastras are saying here i am not saying asuras therefore are always interested in killing the brahmanas and cows the nature of upcoming kali yuga will be also like this and the so many things also started in this country also there is very less respect really for the brahmins and this is also true that there are very truthful and real brahmins are also in very few of numbers the numbers of the very loyal and good qualities of the brahmins are also disappearing nowadays those are completely austerical fix on their all etiquettes and rules and regulation no deviation doesn't matter they have money or not but they are following what civilization under the civilization they got especially in this age kali yuga cows are being killed all over the world this all we know as soon as there is a movement to establish brahmanical civilization people in general rebel does they regard the krishna consciousness movement as a form of brainwashing oh this is all started by this this shikhawala brahmins who is putting this uh, yagya pavit this movement have been started or oh, it is written in shastra oh no shastra is not saying these some brahmins are making their own words and they are putting in the shastra and saying that shastra bhagavad gita or vedas are saying like this the situation is right now like this non believer they don't believe they say no some of the brahmins pandit this pujari putting that red color and tilak and putting dhoti and kurta gamcha on the shoulder keeping shikha these type of people are just making some out of sentences statement and they putting in the forcefully in the books it is not passed before there who said 
God made all. We are all same. No difference with anyone. No caste. No this. No, we are all same. Humans all same. Definitely. But the category is there. You cannot deny this. Does they regard the Krishna consciousness movement as a form of brainwashing? This Vaishnava people, Hare Krishna people came and they are brainwashing the young people in the society and making them monk, making them this sadhu, wearing this uh, saffron things and chanting and dancing, cleaning, the, shaving their heads and keeping shikha. This is the process of brainwash. How can such envious persons be happy in their godless civilization? This is the beginning standard. Godless civilization. Bhakti is far away right now. And the other process are also far away right now. Only here we Prabhupada, I think he is saying godless civilization. When we become godless, we have many things less. One important thing is missing in life. It led to missing a lot of things in your life. Because I, saw, I said source, the main source. If this is missing, the emptiness is always there in every corner of the human life. By saying lie and shouting is a different thing. But one important thing, consciousness is nowhere. It means most of many of things are not there. Sun rays are not coming like this. Sun rays are going like this. Everywhere. Where there is dark, darkness, it's reaching. The light is reaching and darkness finish. So it is like this. God is also the same. Sun. If it is there, everywhere light. Because sun, it knows that one bulb is like coming here. Direct, this laser ray. No. Sun is not a laser ray. Sun expanded like this. Each and every corner. So one important thing is missing. Darkness is there in the life. So how can such envious, envious person Godless also, first envious inside, poor of mud is there, garbage inside, envious, a big bundle, bunch, it's a bundle of garbage. Not happy to see other, others are happy. Not becoming happy to see others, those who are happy. Envious. This happens in Rasa Leela also, at the time of Rasa Leela. Gopis, some of the gopis, they started thinking. Jealous nature came for just a moment and Krishna disappeared. Then some of the Saki, I'm forgetting the name of which Saki came and said, Ari Saki, oh, oh my dear Saki, don't become jealous. Don't become and envious, don't become hateful. Praise, glorify. Because he likes this. Glorifications of someone, praising someone, always saying good about others. He likes, only dislikes. You see, a little bad things, dirty dirt came, little mud came in your heart and it disappeared. So you want that it should disappear. So do like this. You become jealous and envious. Krishna disappeared from the Rasa dance. This is his nature. And business he will not like. Hateful mind he will not like. Jealous he will not like. Hate he will not like. 
this all the process of purification we have to follow and we have to practice in our everyday life that's why it's why kesha baba very clearly say in 24 hours what we say he did we see the picture from morning to evening since we get up how our mind is thinking what our mind is thinking in which way our mind is going this we call many time the word being used positive negative positive negative envious is negative hate negative praise glorifying admiring motivating all positive the supreme personality of godhead punishes them by keeping them in darkness he no need to come himself it is said by many time that krishna was no need to come kill kansa rama no need to kill need to come to kill ravana it was not necessary that much but he promises to the devotees also those who were waiting for the long time for his darshan to see him by their eyes the austere sadhus and so they wanted to see him that's why he came killing comes on ravana or different kind of demons is is not a big thing it was not a big thing for him just thinking and they finish he has one a small things he will just say to his maya go and cover their eyes with the darkness that's it you will never come out until he wants in a dark room doesn't matter how bright eyes you have you cannot see anything in the presence of light we can see in the absence of light we cannot see how bright is your eyes doesn't matter this brightness because of lightness how birth by birth how keeping in darkness oh until you are there okay come again and i will put again this cup dark covering on on front of your eyes and pushing them lower and lower into the wretched condition of hellish life different species we see different species are there 84 lakh different the krishna consciousness movement has started a brahmanical civilization keeping once clean doing every day pious routine increase faith and belief in the heart for god bringing more and more people in this same consciousness to purify and make their life successful after coming in this human form but especially when it is introduced in the western countries the asuras try to impede it in many ways of course it happens when we go to do good things in the beginning problem comes and the same thing happened with prabhupada also it was not that people we are just standing with the garland in their hand in the west and waiting for his wel- for his welcoming no nonetheless we must push forward this movement tolerantly for the benefit of human society but prabhupada didn't give up many people said many thing but he was so much focused no deviation because some energy was working behind him he was no need to worry 
and we can imagine the one person can lead this one movement with the different of hundreds of books translation and writing more and more theories behind and the commentary translation proper it's not the work of ordinary human being so prabhupad was extraordinary to all guru type of people guru type not all gurus are extraordinary our guru is also extraordinary no simple guru means beyond limit no difference radha mohan and guru text 42 sahi sarv sura dakshyo hai sur dud guhasa ha tan mula devata sarva sheshwara sa chaturmukha ha ayam be tad dho ayo ye drishinam bi hinsanam lord vishnu the super soul within the core of everyone's heart is the ultimate enemy of the asuras and is therefore known as asura dvit is the leader of all the demigods because all the demigods including lord shiva and lord brahma exist under his protection the great saintly persons sages and vaishnavas also depend upon him to persecute the vaishnavas therefore is the only way to kill vishnu so asura demons they were all always ready to one do one thing how to kill vishnu <laughs> actually it was never possible for them they never could done <laughs> they wanted to kill vishnu many time but it never happened no proper the demigods and the vaishnavas especially are part and parcel of the supreme lord vishnu because they are always obedient to his orders om tat vishnu pramamam padam sada pashyanti surya the demoniac followers of kamsas thought that if the vaishnavas saintly persons and sages were prosecuted persecuted the original body of vishnu would naturally be destroyed and instead of putting this light to break this light go to the power house and start destruction over there so this light would automatically off thus they decided to suppress vaishnavism the asuras perpetually struggled to prosecute persecute the vaishnavas because they do not want vaishnavism to spread At the time of prabhupad also the same thing happened many people were there those who were against oh this is the attack on our religion this is the the time that this person came to destroy the all system in the west related with god the asuras perpetually struggle to persecute the vaishnavas because they do not want vaishnavas to spread vaishnavas preach only devotional service not encouraging karmis gyanis or yogis because if one must liberate oneself from material conditional life one must ultimately become a vaishnava yes it is 
Here also it is said that what is the meaning of Vaishnava? So the less number of karmis are there, there in Vaishnavism, less number of jnanis are there, and less number of yogis are there. If they want to enter and to become Vaishnava, they are welcome. But if they have unchanged minds, unacceptable minds of Vaishnava theory, and try to overrule the saying or the instruction of Vaishnavism, they are not welcome. Gyani is not bad. We also, Vaishnavas also respect Gyanis. Knowledgeable, not bad. But remaining only knowledgeable and not coming on the platform of uh, Vaishnavism, making your more and more tolerance, controlling your mind and senses, behaving with purity and love, Connected with heart to heart. This is the qualities of Vaishnava. Karmis want to become only Karmis. Study, 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 go to reach the knowledge and going to the high post and getting a lot of money. That's it. Many are there. In the number of billions, many big scholars are there. What does it mean? The earth is full of intellectual people. Overminded, excellent, smart people are there, full of smart people. So what? One good quality is to just to they can survive. And other qualities that makes really them human. It's missing. What is the meaning? No meaning. Anyway, maybe sometime I'm speaking a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Our Krishna consciousness movement is directed with the understanding, with this understanding. And therefore, the Asuras always try to suppress it. We have to try to come out of this material from material conditional life. Our Krishna consciousness movement is directed with the understanding, and therefore the Suras always try to suppress it. Text 43. Evam Dur Mantri Bhi Kamsa Sa Sam Mantri Hadrumati. Brahma Hinsam Hitam Mene Kal Pasha Brito Suraha Shukadeva Goswami continued Thus, having considered the instruction of his bad ministers, Kamsa, who was bound by the laws of Yamaraja and devoid of good intelligence because he was a demon decided to persecute the saintly person. The Brahmanas as the holy way to achieve his own good future. All his demonic nature means when 
demoniac nature increase in human mind this person lose his all intelligence good intelligence and when good intelligence lose the only bad ideas are there there is no intelligence पर श्रीला लोचनदास ठाकुर है संग आपाना करम भुंगे समान कहा है लोचनदास इंस्टीड ऑफ टेकिंग गुड इंस्ट्रक्शन फ्रॉम द सेजेस एंड द शास्त्र होली स्क्रिप्चर्स गॉडलेस एंड नॉन डिवोटीज एक्ट विम्सिकली अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर ओन प्लान वी आर मेकिंग एवरी डे सम न्यू प्लान plans to do that plans to do modification in the kitchen wants to modify bathroom but if some instructions good instructions are coming then there we are showing all oh, i know everything yeah 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 i know yeah 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 i know i know it's it's it comes all the time like this you know everything actually however no one has his own plans in the previous chapter also we read we think that we are doing we are making own plans and the things are decided that what will happen in your life you cannot stop it yeah if you are totally detached just putting having two coins little gamcha and jholi mala in your hand and you are out you have nothing to do with this material world then you are safe but living in this material existence you trying to make your plans and as a controller you think that every will should work according to me not possible not possible because the previous life samskara never leave you alone they chase you what you did that's why many times sadhus saying that mend your karmas careful what you are doing thinking will be okay no problem think and then till mind but this is also sometimes dangerous more and more this mind mind thinking means more and more bringing near to this to this karma to do that's why it is said that control mind and senses mind control slowly gradually senses will be controlled the main thing is this is trouble this is very good thing but this also becomes trouble mechanism mechanism of this mind is balance good mechanism some screws or some uh accessories missing some part and not available in the market uh, available very after long time it oh i found then but it's very difficult is a very good thing this mind at the same time and make destruction in the life also and the god has given everything what we are doing is good we know what we are doing is good what we are doing is bad we all know no one can say if someone is saying it's he is lying we all know that what is good what is bad all power we have kesha baba was saying they were instructed if you want to become indra you can become if you want to become brahma you can become if you want to become shiva you can become god has given all empowerment actually however no one has his own plans because everyone is bound by the laws of nature 
and must act according to this tendency in material conditional life. To bound with conditions in material world. Uh, conditions are there. Under the law of nature, you cannot, you don't have any free choice. Therefore, one must change one's own decision and follow the decision of Krishna and Krishna's devotee. The instruction of Radharani, what she is saying, how to become, what to do. Come to me, Radharani is saying. Don't go here and there. Don't lean your head. What is there? What is there? I'm here, here. Come. She's calling. But we are not ready to listen. Then problem. Then one is rescued from punishment by Yamaraja. Actually, here Prabhupada maybe is saying in some connected with the other content, but Yamaraja is, Yamaraja is not coming at the time of Vaishnava. A good Vaishnava who practiced the principles of the tradition and parampara nicely, doing bhajan under the direction of his spiritual master, Gurudev, chanting his Diksha and Haridama both nicely. Yamaraj doesn't come, only the Parshadas, the associates of Radharani and Krishna, they come. Yamaraj, they don't come. So Kamsa was not uneducated. How a, he was the king, how a king can be uneducated? Kamsa was king. Not possible that he can be uneducated. It appears from his talks with Vasudeva and Devaki that he knew all about the laws of nature. He is saying that I know everything. That if you are doing like this, this will happen. If you are doing like this, this will happen. He say I know very well. But because of, his, because of his association. Oh my God. Because of his association with bad ministers, he could not make a clear decision about his welfare. Sometimes our associations are not outside. Sometimes our associates are inside. This, I am telling you with my personal uh, experience. Sometimes this uh, our own associates are much connected with our senses. Inside the associates are connected with our senses that mislead them many times, most of the time. And this misleading by the different kind of senses, we are not able to think what is good for us. Or we are not so much clear, always in confusion, what to do? Oh, do this like this. Oh my God, if, if it will happen like this, then? No, 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 I will not do that. Uh, no, like this? Okay, I do like this. Uh, but... Uh, uh, if something happens, then what I will do? Always fearful situation, confusion, disturbed mind. Balloon, boom, jumping this balloon. Therefore, the Chetan Chetta Mirta says, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastra Koi, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi if one desire to his real welfare, he must associate it with devotees. Qualified Vaishnavas 
elevated by souls and saintly person and in this way rectify the material condition of his life in today's reading it is very clear about association many times the word association came so today's chapter i think that it is based shrimad bhagavatam was based on the benefit of association it was focused on these things text 44 if we have little time thus aarti will be soon संदिश्य साधु लोक से कदने कदन प्रियान काम रूप धरान दिक्षु दान मान गृह दीज डीम द फॉलोअर्स ऑफ कंसा वेर एक्सपर्ट एट परसिक्यूशन अदर्स स्पेशली द वैष्णवास एंड कूड एज्यूम एनी फॉर्म द डिजायर दे कैन बिकम एलिफेंट दे कैन बिकम डॉग दे कैन बिकम donkey they can become a bird after giving these demons permission to go everywhere and persecute the saintly persons comes a entered his palace now the from here he started to disturb vaishnavas sadhus and saintly people and he said <coughs> for the persecutions of saintly people and gone his entered his, his palace जस enthusiasm is there fake enthusiasm i call i can give it name this is fake enthusiasm enthusiastic very excited to do something but not in a proper positive way so then this becomes rajasik the things what you are doing with passion in a negative way it becomes rajasik when you think do the things in a positive way then it becomes sattvic the same thing with tamasic also under ignorance when if you are going to do without thinking like that i know everything this is ignorance i know much what are you saying i know this is ignorance saying i know everything but not knowing anything if knowing everything then the situation in material world of the human being will be not like this you need to be always happy but this is not happening what does it mean ignorance is there you are not free from many things all the time anxiety doubts jumping mind not stability not focused now concentration this all things because of ignorance so charged with passion and ignorance and not knowing what was good or bad for them is both things the asuras for whom impending death was waiting began the persecution of the saintly person Now the time of asuras were so near them. Time near means they were about to finish, about to killed by Krishna. The time was very near to them. It was decided. As is written in Bhagavad Gita, "Dehino smin yatha dehe 
कौमारम यौवनम जरा तथा देहांतर प्रतिर धीरा स्तत्र न मुहति एज द एम्बॉडिड सोल कंटिन्यूअली पासिस इन दिस बॉडी फ्रॉम बॉय हिट टू यूथ टू ओल्ड एज इट्स नॉट लाइक दिट यू विल बी यूथ एवर नो इन्फेंट बेबी देन अ बॉय देन यंग देन स्लोली द सोल सिमिलरली पासिस इन टू अनादर बॉडी टू डेथ After death, leaves this body and goes in in the body. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a change. Yeah, self-realized soul, nice. Is not worry or bewildered by the such a change. Doesn't matter because this soul be- make himself free. The awakening is there. The established consciousness is there. No one can move this consciousness in this soul. So now, soul has nothing to change. Thing. Irresponsible persons are surcharged with passion and ignorance. Foolishly do things that are not to be done. No nam pramatta kurute vikarma. but one should know the results of irresponsible actions as explained in the next verse ayu shriyam yasho dharma lok nashis evacha anti shriyam se sarvani punso mahad divikrama my dear king when a man persecutes great souls all his benedictions of longevity longevity all his benediction of longevity beauty fame religion blessings and promotion to higher planets will be destroyed careful with your karma our karma what we are doing everything can destroy very quickly each and every soul is very important who is near us we cannot say about any soul who is what we need to be careful only not by doing this something if we are giving hurt if hurting giving anyone's pain is also a persecution so it makes destruction in your all good things what you did in your life if by mistake if you do something wrong in our life with different people need to be very careful thus and bhakti vidanda purports of the 10th canto fourth chapter of shrimad bhagavatam entitled the associates of king kamsa jay jay shri radhe jay jay shri radhe जय जय श्री राधे निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बोल थैंक यू सच्ची भैया ब्यूटीफुल शेयरिंग थैंक यू आई एम नॉट ए गुड स्पीकर बट व्हाट एवर स्पॉन स्पॉन्टेनियसली व्हाट एवर कम्स इन द माइंड बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ राधा रानी आई से मे बी सम मेनी प्लेसेस आई एम रॉन्ग पॉसिबल सो प्लीज फॉरगिव मी फॉर माय दिस limited mind <laughs> next uh, time we will uh, start chapter 5 the meeting of nanda maharaj and vasudeva and we will enjoy a lot more and more thank you for all vaishnava dandavat pranam in all vaishnava's lotus feet may your mercy will continue shower on me thank you very much <laughs>